first snow heralds the beginning of winter, the harshest time of year here in the Vermont mountains. Winter is a long season here, lasting sometimes quite nearly half the year. But I think the first snowfall holds a bit of magic. And I love it just as much as I ever have. Winter is filled with repetition. We stock up on root vegetables from the local farmers because they will keep well and last through the winter. When I can, I try to prep something for myself in the morning so that later, when I'm deep into writing my book, I have something I can just toss into the skillet. I so love first snows. So I've been working on a new book I'm currently writing and I've also been working on a new series that I'm publishing very soon. I'm really excited to be able to announce that this new series will have an audiobook and The Blood Race will soon be available in audiobook format. I have just signed with Podium Audio to do my audiobooks. I'm really, really excited, like so excited to finally be able to share this with you guys. Many of you may have already heard of Podium Audio. Podium gained international notice for turning unknown author Andy Weir's ebook, The Martian, into the most successful science fiction audiobook in the world. The Martian went on to become a top box office award-winning film directed by Ridley Scott starring Matt Damon. I haven't seen the movie yet, but I plan on watching it very soon. So if you guys have seen the movie or read the book, The Martian, you're probably familiar with some of Podium's work. So I'm very, very excited to be working with them and their amazing team to create these audiobook versions of The Blood Race. We're currently in the casting stage of the production and I couldn't be more... Ah! <laughs> 
stoked. <laughs> I'm so stoked to share more with you guys. It's really, really exciting. I'm really thrilled with the cast and to be able to share more with you on that as time goes on. But for now, I did want to share that with you guys. So get excited because audiobooks are coming for The Blood Race and for a brand new series that will be coming at you guys super soon. I've been hard at work on that and also writing a new book. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so much going on in the writing world lately. This new book that I'm writing actually takes place in Vermont. It's the first book I've written that takes place in, right here in my home state. So I've been finding it really nourishing to spend a lot of time out in the woods, out in the forest hiking, just spending loads of time outside because so many elements of the book, lots of elements of the book take place in these lands, exact landscapes, like right around where I live. So it's so much more immersive for me to be able to spend time in what I am writing about. So lately, it's been all about getting out into the woods. The landscapes in my books, especially the realms of worlds beneath, they're inspired by these mountains, forests, foothills, lakes, and craggy cliff faces I grew up roaming. This season holds something very special for me. It is as if I can feel the earth pulsating with energy as the ground freezes and the forest transforms. The power of the ice taking over, snow blanketing the branches of the trees and turning the landscape into a frozen, mystical land. Muted with thick snow, the forests are silent. I trekked deep into the woods to find a hidden waterfall, still swollen with melt from an earlier snow. I couldn't resist peeling off my boots and wading in. Feeling the freezing water rushing around my ankles, listening to the roar of the falls around me. These sounds are the voice of the mountains. This is how they speak, in mighty whispers. And the trembling winter wind, and the icy rush of water. Deep in the forest, far from the world, this is the voice I hear the clearest. This is the voice that finds its way into my words, my stories, the places I write about. They existed here before they manifested into the worlds I write about.
This is the voice that speaks to me. And a voice inside of me answers. The stirring I feel within me. How alive I feel out here. It's just my spirit replying to that voice. The mountains call. Calling back. Joining the song of the winter winds. In the winters, I love enjoying slow, cozy evenings. I've been making a delicious vegan hot chocolate lately. It's such a lovely, warm treat on these bitter cold nights. I start with two cups of plant-based milk, or one cup of plant milk and one cup of water, heating it on medium heat in a saucepan. I stir in two tablespoons of organic raw cacao powder. A teaspoon of monk fruit. And then I add six small pieces of vegan dark chocolate from whatever bar I have on hand. You can always add one or two more if you'd like. It's important to keep stirring it so that the milk doesn't burn. When it's nice and warm, pour it into your favorite mug and enjoy. These long, snowy mountain days that fill my soul, fuel the worlds I build, breathe life into them. This is their origin, where they come from. I am so grateful for these woods, mountains, and cold nights. Listening to the wind howl outside and the ice sing as the lake freezes deeper, I am convinced there's a deep magic at home in these mountains.